Hey Vinyl community, it's Michael. Welcome back to Near Wild Heaven. Today's video is going to be another uh, this week's playlist. Um, what you're hearing in the background is Mono Men, Wrecker. It's a great punk album, man. It's so good. Um, this came out in like 1992 on Estrus Records. It's really good 90s hard punk. It's really good stuff. I love the Mono Men. Uh, I got a few of their albums, but there's a few other ones I really want to get a hold of. But for now, this will do. Yeah, the Mono Men. Wrecker. Really good album. So, uh, this week's playlist, um, try to play some stuff that I haven't heard in a while. You know, that will include some reggae and jazz. So, um, but first up, we got Lou Reed, Rock and Roll Animal, classic album from 1974, live album, really good. Great versions of uh, old Melvin Underground songs. Um, when uh, Lou was going to make this album, well, he was, he had just recorded uh, Berlin, and it wasn't doing too well in the charts. So uh, he was kind of bummed about that. But then his uh, manager suggested that he get a band together and set up a concert where he plays like old Velvet Underground songs and do like new arrangements. So Lou had just worked with Steve Hunter on the Berlin album. So he got him and he told him to get a band together and they rehearsed these songs. They made new arrangements and the rest is history. This came out and it's a great album, a great live album. Some of the songs on here is like the best versions you've ever heard of this stuff. Like Sweet Jane and Heroin, White, White, White Heat, Lady Day is the only song on here from Berlin and it finishes with the epic version of Rock and Roll. But really good. Everybody knows this album. Great album from Lou Reed, Rock and Roll Animal. And up next, some punk with the Weirdos. This is a compilation called Weird World. Compilation of their singles. Um, really good stuff. Uh, these guys are from, I think, San Francisco. I could be wrong, but yeah, they're around there somewhere. They're from California, for sure. But yeah, they started in 1977. Uh, this compilation covers the years from 1977 to 1981. The great songs on here like uh, Weird World, Helium Bar, Rhythm Syndrome, Happy People, Message from the Underworld, I'm Not Like You, We Got the Neutron Bomb, and my favorite song on here is called Life of Crime. Really good, uh, hard edge punk from uh, the Weirdos in 1977 and 1981. Really good stuff. And up next, some garage rock. This is uh, Lime Spiders. Uh, the Cave Comes Alive. These guys are from Australia. And uh, they got a few albums out. I'm not sure how many, maybe four or five albums, but yeah, really good stuff. Just great garage rock. There's songs on here like My Favorite Room, which is just a great song. Uh, Are You Loving Me More, which is a cover of uh, Electric Prune song. Uh, MSU, also a cover by Cream. Uh, Blood From a Stone. Just One Solution, Action Woman, which is another cover of an old 60s song, um, Jessica, Space Cadet, all of this 
really good. Check this album out if you don't know about it. Lime Spiders. Cave Comes Alive. Really good uh, garage rock from Australia. And uh, let me turn this down a little bit. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, okay, next up, this is Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel, Best Years of Our Lives. This came out in 1975. Um, I guess these guys were kind of considered glam rock. This is like, I think, their third album. Um, but yeah, it, it's pretty good. It's, it doesn't sound that glammy to me. It just sounds like good rock. But it's not like real hard rock or anything like that. But there's some great songs on here. Um, Introducing the Best Years, Mad Mad Moonlight, Mr. Raffles, It Wasn't Me, uh, and they had a hit single with this album, uh, the single was called Make Me Smile, Come Up and See Me, it's a really good song, uh, yeah, Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel, if you don't know about these guys, check them out, they were really good, uh, yeah, they were, they were pretty popular in the uh, early to mid 70s, but really good band, Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel. And up next, this is Sid Barrett, The Madcap Blasts. This is his uh, second solo album uh, from 1970, I believe. And he only made like two solo albums after he left Pink Floyd. And he was assisted by uh, David Gilmore and Roger Waters. They co-produced this album and helped him along. And I think it was pretty cool that they could get what they got out of him for this and his first album. I mean, these songs are, they're eccentric. Kind of reminds me of, uh, like, Robin Hitchcock from the 80s. His work during then was reminiscent of Sid Barrett, but uh, yeah, just great stuff on here. Uh, Terrapin, No Good Trying, Love You, No Man's Land, Dark Globe, which was covered by R.E.M., um, Here I Go, Octopus, Golden Hair, Long Gone, She Took a Long Cold Look. And yeah, but it's all really good. Don't expect like uh, Pink Floyd type stuff. This is more acoustic and kind of on the softer side, but still really good. Sid Barrett, The Madcap Laugh from uh, 1970. And up next, some reggae. This is Bob Marley and the Whalers, Catch a Fire. Um, this is, originally came out in 1973. I think this is an 80s reissue, it's a different cover. The original cover looked like a big lighter and you opened it up from the top. But um, that one's kind of hard to come by. But this one, pretty easy to find, uh, really good. This is, uh, it's reggae, but it, to me it sounds like it has a bit of uh, R&B touches to it. The female backup singers are really good. Everything on this is such a good album. It's really mellow. Um, if you like reggae, you know, and Bob Marley and the Wailers, you want to check this out. I'm not a huge reggae fan, but I do have a few other albums with uh, Bob Marley. But great stuff. Uh, Bob Marley and the Whalers, Catch a Fire, from originally came out in 1973. And then um, I listened to some jazz. I haven't heard that in a while. So up first is uh, John Coltrane, Giant Steps. This is a reissue from 
like 1983, I think. Um, but yeah, this is a classic, classic uh, jazz album. It's so good. Uh, Giant Steps, Cousin Mary, Countdown, Saida's Song Flute, Mr. PC. It's really, really good. I'm not uh, like a big jazz person, but um, I, it's just something I'd like to get into, or I wanted to get into more. And um, when I first started, I, I was watching a video by Dylan from Noble Records, and he was showing some jazz albums, and he made the comment where he said, um, if you're new to jazz and you want to get into it, um, the best thing to do would be pick up a jazz album and look on the back and see who else is on there and then go buy an album by those people. Because just about everybody that's in this band has an album out of their own, started their own band and uh, put out albums too. This has uh, John Coltrane, of course, on tenor sax, Tommy Flanagan on piano, Paul Chambers on bass, and Art Taylor on drums. Uh, but yeah, really good uh, hard bop jazz from John Coltrane. Um, this originally came out, I think, in 1960, possibly. I could be wrong about that, but yeah, really good stuff from John Train, Giant Steps. And then I played another jazz album, this Cannonball Adderley with John Train uh, in uh, Chicago. Uh, this is another really good one. Um, this is on a label called Jazz Wax. They specialize in reissues of a classic jazz album but it's a great way to uh, pick up some of the stuff and not pay an arm and a leg for it you know a lot of these older jazz albums um, originals of these things are outrageously priced but it's nice that there's a company out there that's putting these out um, you know for people who are just casual jazz listeners you know, this was like, I paid like 15 bucks for this, you know, so. It's really good, though. I, I really like this one a lot. The songs on here, Limehouse Blues, Stars Fell on Alabama, Wabash, uh, Grand Central, You're a Weaver of Dreams, The Sleeper, and Serenata. But all really good. Cannonball Adderley, John Coltrane Quintet in Chicago. This uh, this came out in 1959. So, yeah. Really good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I played this, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, Monin. This is another uh, reissue on a budget label. This label is called Wax Time. I believe they're probably associated with the other label that I showed. But yeah, this originally came out in uh, 1958. But man, this is so good. I really like this one a lot. This is probably one of my favorite jazz albums. But great stuff on here. Moaning, Are You Real? Along Came Betty, The Drum Thunder Suite, uh, <clears throat> Blues March, and Come Rain or Come Shine. And this uh, band on this is uh, Art Blakey on drums, Lee Morgan on trumpet, Benny Golson on tenor sax, Bobby Timmons on piano, and Jimmy Merritt on bass. But, yeah, really good stuff. This, like I said, this is probably one of my favorite jazz albums. Really good stuff from Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. Moaning. And up next, we got, uh, this is Public Image Limited, second edition. Um, this is uh, 
a reissue of their second album that was originally came in a metal film canister and was called Metal Box and it had like I think three 12 inch records inside but this is now uh, two records um, but really good stuff it's uh, I don't want to say it's punk it's more like post punk but kind of bass heavy uh, throbbing bass of uh, what's the guy's name Ya Wobble and Keith Levine on guitar and uh, Johnny Rotten or John Lydon on vocals but yeah really good stuff from uh, Public Image Limited the second edition there you go this is a uh, reissue on Four Men with Beards, which uh, I really don't like that label too much, but it was the only one, only version of this album that I could find at a decent price. But yeah, good stuff from Public Image Limited, uh, second edition. And a few more here. Up next, Roxy Music. Uh, For Your Pleasure, this is their second album from 1972. Here it is, uh, there's Eno, whoop, there's Eno right there, still in the band. But yeah, really good stuff from Roxy Music. Uh, I love the song, uh, what is it, The Bogus Man is really good. And also the other song, uh, In Every Dream Home, A Heartache, which has almost like a goth feel to it. But really good stuff. Um, Do the Strand is great. Editions of You is another really good one. Um, Bogus Man, I said that one. Gray, La Gray Lagoons and For Your Pleasure. But... Yeah, really good stuff from Roxy Music, early uh, early record from Roxy Music, their second album from 1972, uh, For Your Pleasure. Great stuff. And up next, some punk. This is the Groovy Ghoulies, uh, Appetite for Adrenochrome. Um, this originally came out in 1989. Uh, this is a, like a mid-90s reissue, but really good. Uh, kind of like, I sound a little bit like Green Day, a little bit, but their uh, lyrics have like, uh, they deal with uh, horror, like horror movies and stuff, like some of the songs on here lost generation do the bat armageddon 2000 they do a cover of the rolling stones 2000 man which is pretty good uh my computer said kill king kong no blood the blob blood beach ghoul chant all pretty good stuff if you like uh similar in style uh bands that sound kind of like with the Ramones maybe um, check this out it's pretty good the groovy ghoulies appetite for appetite for adrenochrome and up next more punk this is radio birdman radios appear this is so good this originally came out in 1977 I think yeah this is an original this is a this is a promo copy as you can see there with the, whoop, the promo it's kind of hard with this camera I'm, you know screwed up with uh, the way everything is but anyway uh, yeah radios appear radio Birdman their first US album really good stuff on here uh, what Gives, Nonstop Girls, Do the Pop, Man with the Golden Helmet, Descent into the Maelstrom, 
uh, Aloha Steve and Dano, where they incorporate the Hawaii Five-O theme song into it. That's pretty good. Anglo Girl Desire, Murder City Night. They also do a cover of You're Gonna Miss Me, the 13th Floor Elevator song. And uh, Hit Them Again. But really good stuff from Radio Birdman. Radio appears. And last one here. This is the Plimsolls. Uh, what's the name of this? Uh, Everywhere at Once. Uh, this contains their song. Uh, I guess it was a single. I don't know if it did anything, but uh, this single's called A Million Miles Away. But really good power pop. Uh, great stuff from uh, the Plimsolls. Maybe similar in style to the DBs. If you like them, if you know about them. But yeah, really good stuff. Uh, songs like Magic Touch, Oldest Story in the World, Lie, Beg, Borrow, and Steal, Play the Breaks, How Long Will It Take, A Million Miles Away, Inch by Inch, I'll Get Lucky, and Everywhere at Once. But yeah, really good power pop, uh, just really good tuneful, uh, catchy uh, guitar riffs, really good stuff from the Plimsolls. Uh, everywhere at once from mm, 1983 it came out 1983 so there you go Plim Souls everywhere at once and that's it for this week hope you enjoyed that uh, I'd like to thank everyone who's subscribed in the last couple of weeks I'd like to thank everyone who's left comments and uh, I guess that'll be it for now, and take care everybody, hope you're all doing well, and we'll see you next week.